Okay, so somebody's stuff is here. Chair and buckets and bags of crap. Some kind of a, a smoking hookah thingy, maybe. But I don't think they've been here for a while. More than a day. This water is so clear. So pretty. No doubt people skinny dip here. It's not that deep, but it's definitely nice and nice and clear, clean looking. So this is like the end of the line. They got no trespassing signs and a fence even up there. And I'm not sure if I could just cross this water, take off my shoes and socks. Where where can I go over there to another no trespassing? It's very like you have to climb a mountain to get back onto the road. I'm not sure if it can be seen. It's so clear in there and I can see fish swim around. Around this this like root. I think it's a root and maybe four feet of water. It's so clean and clear. I want to cross, but it's just such a rapids throughout here. Do I want to cross before the rapids? I'm not sure, but it goes to Redway across over that way somewhere. Well, I'm on the other side now. I guess I'll head over to Redway if I can get over there. What a weird plant. It almost looks like burdock, but it's not quite. It's a little off. It's actually trying to repel you from eating its seeds with these with these spikes, which tell me that, they're spi that the seeds are probably edible because it's relying on spikes. So instead of burdock using its velcro to try to get attached to your clothing, this is trying to repel you. And, and uh, I don't know how it intends to spread. It doesn't really spread much, actually. I don't see many. They're kind of spread out. So how does it, how does it uh, transfer its, get it, move its seeds around? All right, it's not exactly like the ocean, but you get a big beach with the waterway. Maybe the river is 15 feet across. No campers around here. So I guess there pro there's a lot of tracks, but I guess they're just not going to Redway. I think road Redway might be uh, less populated with hippies. Along this river, you'll see an occasional redwood tree that's pretty good sized. They crossed a second time and hopefully the last. Hopefully there's some access to Redway. Hillsides covered in copper. That would be pretty cool to come across. Looks like there's three ropes hanging from the limb of this tree up here. So they were, oh, it still, it still looks like you could get in there and it looks like it's strong enough. They got it knotted every two feet. So they're coming over here to play in the river. I can see how hippies would be attracted to a place like this with this majestic scenery. And that's not even, I, I, I don't even see any redwood trees. With the hopes of seeing redwood trees on top of everything, it's really a cool experience in the northern parts. A river has run over this area for many thousands of years to round off all these crazy rocks. It's not like being in, in the more Midwest, Idaho, Utah, Nevada. Rocks are all jagged. I see a blue tarp up here. Maybe this person might know if they're there how to get to the road. It's a nice trail. Special, special deal. Uh, I call it the twins. The twins? Uh, yeah, yeah, I could see that. All right. Yeah, I had to cross the river twice to get over this way. Are we? Are you that far from? Are you far from Redway? Uh, no. Yeah, okay, thanks. Wow, that thing is like 30 feet in diameter. Looks like there's several campers. So 
Well, this is private land. You got a bunch of campers spread out. But it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I don't understand what the private private guy is doing with it. But wow. It's uh it's got electricity. Why would they do that? They're just giving free electricity to the people. So it does have no trespassing signs. That's definitely not stopping the people. It's all about enforcement. I have to disagree that Redway is just up the road. Because I'm going quite a distance here. They used to have an old tractor on display, but it's all covered with, with vegetation. It's hard to see now. Looks like it'd be a cool display. Next to the rain catcher dealer. Yeah, wow, that's amazing. That's to pick up a lot of dirt. So 4750 gallons is 2,300. 4,600 gallon tank for a 2,000. Looks like some deals don't even have a price on that smaller one. It does get a little dry around here. So when the rainstorms hit, I guess you want to catch that water. Either that or that's for catching sewage. Across from the highway patrol. Ridway with a population of 1,400 people. You think they should have a library. It didn't show up on Google Maps. I had quite a distance to cover. I think most people would rather hitchhike or just grab a ride, pay for a ride from a bus or something to get between cities. I think that's what most people do today. But I bet back in the pioneer days, it was not many people who were able to do that. Deal with these vehicles losing their wheels. I bet the other side's missing wheels too. And this is a two hour parking, okay, on blocks. And this is a like, little lot. I believe it covers a whole lot. It says two hours. So what's the deal with that? Maybe it was more populated during uh, the 60s and 70s, during the baby boomers uh, early stages, and now it's all mellowing out. Okay, I expected to see many fewer hippies, but there's quite a few. <laughs> I'm amazed at the high number of uh, travelers that are passing through here. It doesn't even exactly need to be a tourist town, just just a very beautiful area. What are they selling? So I crossed the river down there somewhere. Somewhere along the line, between the north and south of California, I've seen a changeover from bicyclers to hippies on their feet. Not many bicyclers in the northern parts. Plenty of them. Exclusively plenty of them. In the south, not only is it just a different, you know, having a bicycle and compared to hitchhiking, it's also the, the outfits that they wear. Every bicycler wore a, a bicycle uh, pants uniform. I felt out of place. Some kind of a hybrid. I, I wear whatever I want to. And I looked out of place uh, with 
bicycling down in the southern parts, even north north of San Francisco. 